A House Democrats want to bring President Biden's social spending bill for a floor vote this week. The Build Back Better Act still faces parliamentary hurdles and a score from the Congressional Budget Office. Republicans say the multi-trillion dollar spending bill will only add to inflation. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Climate change investments are the single largest items in the Build Back Better Act, more than $550 billion worth. Democrats say that these provisions will change everyday Americans' lives. The Build Back Better Act will invest in a green economy. It will invest in a sustainable economy. It will invest in a resilient economy. Republicans say the trillions in spending will add to inflation and bankrupt America. What we do know is that this piece of legislation in five years will add more than $800 billion to the national debt. That doesn't sound like it cost zero. Republicans tell me much of what President Biden hopes to achieve can be done with existing laws. Plus, traditional fossil fuels will still be needed. We're going to need liquid fuels for the foreseeable future. And this administration seems to think that everybody's going to be driving around electric cars real soon. That's not going to happen. The Biden administration is pushing electric vehicles. In the bill, drivers can get a $7,500 rebate for buying them and another $4,500 if the car is made at a union plant. But Senator Lindsey Graham tells me it's a payoff to unions. This is a payoff. It stinks to high heaven. And Mo Joe Manchin said he wouldn't stand for it. But you're punishing uh, manufacturers in South Carolina who make BMWs and Volvos that are electric simply because Democrats want to give money to their union friends. Republicans are expected to ask the Senate parliamentarian to remove the tax break for made in America electric vehicles. They tell me capitalism, not government control, drives the economy. What we need to do is incentivize those things and not use the heavy hand of government through regulations and mandates and taxes and requirements to literally kill the economy. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says that she expects a CBO score soon. She will then bring it to the House floor for a vote. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.